Hello again. As somebody who makes his living through the arrangement and manipulation of words, I have a particular interest in having the freedom to use whichever word I feel is necessary or correct for my purposes. Naturally, I'm a writer. Words are important to me. In today's world, though, this is becoming increasingly difficult. The makers of the board game Scrabble have now updated their official list of words which are permitted to be used at Scrabble tournaments, and this has been specifically done, according to Mattel, as a direct consequence of the Black Lives Matter disturbances last summer. I cannot tell viewers how strongly I disapprove of this move. It's not, of course, a new idea by any means. There was a time when a few odd cranks used to pester the publishers of the Oxford English Dictionary with monotonous regularity to have offensive definitions of the word Jew removed from the dictionary. This was happening 50 years ago and in the description to this video I give a link to a newspaper article from 1973 about this very subject. I might mention at this point that at that time uh, it was common to hear people say to a stingy or miserly person, don't be a Jew, or somebody cheated out of money was said to have been Jewed. Now, I didn't think it was a good idea in 1973 to start falling around with dictionaries, and I still don't. Dictionaries, whether the Oxford English Dictionary or merely the one that Scrabble players use to decide whether a word is legal or not, should be descriptive rather than prescriptive. That is to say, they should tell us how language is being used, not how they think that we should be using it. If people are actually calling an unscrupulous merchant a Jew in a pejorative way, then it's the business of a good dictionary to let me know that. As for the Scrabble list of words, I am exceedingly puzzled because the actual word Jew is now forbidden from competitions, which I find offensive in itself. That the word Jew as a description of an ethnicity should be erased is absolutely shocking. I am also, by the way, intrigued to note that you can no longer use Jesuit this is utterly mad. I mean, I don't know how many viewers are Catholics and know about uh, the Society of Jesus, founded by Ignatius Loyola, um, the Jesuits. They run schools in this country connected with them. Stonyhurst is a good example. But anyway, one of my favourite poets is Gerard Manley Hopkins, who was an English Jesuit, which is to say a member of the Society of Jesus, a Catholic order. How on earth can that possibly cause anybody offence? Mind you, some people seem to spend their whole lives seeking out ways to be offended. Some idiot took his employers to court in England recently, claiming harassment at work. He was a black cleaner at a gymnasium in Derby and saw that somebody had written in the message book that there had been an incident where three coloured guys were messing around. That was the nature of the message written. He furiously confronted the man who had written this, whereupon the man at once apologised and said he thought coloured was more polite than calling them black guys. Uh, some people in uh, parts of England without many uh, minorities actually think this. They believe that coloured is more polite than black. Of course, the cleaner at once went racing off to the tribunal in search, presumably, of compensation for his hurt feelings. Luckily, the judge had chucked the case out. I give a link to this uh, in the description above. The funny thing is, and it really made me laugh when I saw this, I saw a black woman getting ticked off and irate for precisely the opposite case, uh, something over 30 years ago. She saw a written record in the place where I worked which referred to a black woman and she hit the roof. For one thing, the word woman was, she said, rude and ill-mannered. She was a very respectable old Jamaican of a, a particular age and class 
and said that the correct word was lady. She thought that rather than black woman, the member of staff should instead have referred to a coloured lady. <laughs>